Hey, what is going on, Caleb? And today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And right now I'm going to go over the iris blur, which is a new feature to Adobe CS6. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive right on into this. We want to make a background copy. So Control J or drag and drop, like usual. Click our first layer. We want to go up to um, Filter, Blur. Iris Blur, this will be the second from the top. Go ahead and click on that. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing around with it. Uh, give you a walkthrough of what everything is and how it works is you have this oval, or really it's a circle, and around the uh, perimeter of the circle is a, a solid thin line. And pretty much what this is saying is everything outside of this line, so everything in here, will be 100% blurred, okay? Everything in the very middle between this dot, this dot, and this dot, between the four dots, will not be affected. But between the dots and the outside line is the transition. And that pretty much all it's doing is taking is from zero opacity, which is not blurred, to the 100%, which is outside of this line, which is blurred. So if you kind of get that, it's pretty simple. Um, what you want to do is you want to put your sh blur around the shape of what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and drag this in a little. Not so much because this guy's got like a big peanut head. Drag it a little bit taller. He's got a fat head too. Nice big chin. Drag it down a little. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. It's getting in the neck. And see right here, it's starting to blur. Top of the head's blurred just a tad, not too much. It's getting nice, nice fine detail right here on the side of the cheeks. And what you want to do is, this middle right here, the center circle is, if you drag it, it puts you more blur. The higher you go up, as you can see, that's more blur. If you drag it all the way down, less blur. So I think... Nah, that's a little too much. Just bring it down a little bit. Just play with it a little bit and see what you like. So um, I'm liking this right here, right at 16 pixel blur. And another thing you want to do is before you click OK, is you want to come up here to the top and click Save Mask to Layers. Go ahead and check that. Go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we want to do is, is go to Channels. Now once we're in our channels, we want to click on our Control key. And we're going to click our blue blur mask. And what this will do, this will load our selection that we just had. As you can see, it has the selection selected. Go back to our layers. And what we want to do now is um, click on the levels right underneath the adjustments right here. So just click on that little icon. And the properties tab will pop up. So you can go ahead and close that. Now you have our levels. And you can mess around with them and change them by clicking the properties again. But I'm going to leave them like they are. And what we want to do is we want to change our blending mode from normal, and we want to change the screen right here. So go ahead and click screen. And that, wow, that was just a, so much better. As you can see, the before and after, it's just a major increase right there. That, that looks really good. So once again, what we want to do is hold down control, click on our levels layer. This will reload our selection, and we want to add some vibrance underneath the adjustments panel. So just click on the vibrance, it's a triangle shape thing. And what this will do is, it will change the tone of your picture. So if I drag it down, the colder my picture will look, look you know, duller, more bluish. The higher I drag it, the more heat it will have, you know, the more reds and uh, more, more warmth, in other words. So I think it looks good both ways, a little bit of bit or not not too much like that looks good right there play around with the saturation if you want to draw out the color go ahead and minimize that and that really looks a hell of a lot better than what it did before and it really makes his face pop out more as you can see down here it's all blurred and right here in the chin you got nice fine detail even within the hairs so if you like this video guys make sure to like it thumbs up rate comment subscribe do what you do best. Hit that subscribe button at top. And thanks for watching another one of my videos. Until next time, guys. Peace.